So I was flicking through the soup section of the Essentials of Classic Italian Cooking by Marcella Hazan. Hazza, if you will. Ugh, we won't. And I was searching for something simple but comforting on this miserable winter day. And I came across this recipe, mussel soup. I've never cooked mussels before. I do not have that skill, but I do have enthusiasm. See, I wouldn't normally think of seafood in the winter, but turns out winter is when Australian mussels are at their sweetest, softest, and juiciest. Surprisingly, none in the supermarkets though. So a very wet Alex jumped on a bus to the closest seafood shop that Maps could find. And sure enough, mussels. First, we need 900 grams of live mussels. Now, any of these that are closed are very likely alive, but the ones that are open, it's a bit uncertain. So we have to give them a squeeze and see if they close by themselves. This one is not, so that is a dead mussel. Oh, oh, there goes one. Started closing, off he goes. Also, if they have a broken shell, you don't want those. Got Millie to help me so we can get through these in a reasonable time. These are our survivors. They won't be survivors for long. <laughs> So I pulled out a knife and turns out a bunch of the ones that we thought were dead were actually just a bit sleepy. And if you give them a good whack, they start to move. Not that one though. Please join me in saying goodbye to our dearly departed. 810 grams, we're a little short, but not too much. Now we need to wash them. And we drain. Then we wash again. And we're waiting for that water to go clear. Whoa. And now we have to scrub them clean. And then when you get one with these little beards, you just rip them out towards the hinge. Ugh, I think that's a bit of muscle. Ooh, that's a big one. Is that coral? But honestly, at this point, I'm starting to regret not buying the ones that said that they were washed and de-bearded. Nah, go get the natural ones. They'll be great for the video. Nope. Clean, scrubbed, and de-bearded. Okay, next we're gonna need one and a half teaspoons of finely chopped garlic. So in the last video, I asked, see if I'm chopping this very finely, why can't I just use a garlic press? Now it turns out Marcella actually has the answer in the book. The least acceptable method of preparing garlic is squeezing it through a press. The sodden pulp it produces has an acrid flavor and cannot even be sauteed properly. You know, reading through this book, Marcella has a lot of um, opinions. I love that you can really feel her personality through it. One tablespoon of flat leaf parsley, also chopped. Coarsely chopped. If you give it a squish, it's a good tablespoon. And 225 grams of tinned imported Italian plum tomatoes. Of course, we're using San Marzano tomatoes. Marzo's for Marcy. No, no, we're not doing that. These are drained relatively, and now we're gonna be chopping them up. See, what I'm really curious about is where is the liquid coming from in this soup? There's no stock, there's no wine, and we're draining the tomatoes. Frankly, I'm expecting a bit of a magic trick at this point. And finally, an eighth of a teaspoon of a hot chili. Now that's a quarter teaspoon, so half of that. See, that's double what she's asking for, and that just feels silly. Anyway, that's our prep done, over to the stove. So we're setting this to a medium heat, and starting off with six tablespoons of olive oil. Now we add our garlic and we're waiting for a light gold color. I feel like a fantastic Marcella Hazan related product would be a little color card that tells you all the various shades of gold that she describes in this book. Okay, that's looking pale gold. Now we put in our parsley. I swear it was on medium. We give it one stir. That was five. And in goes the tomato. I don't know what happened there. I think my pot built up a bit of heat while I was changing the camera angle. Oh, and the uh, the chili. Now look, because of the lack of liquid and to compensate for the bit of water I just evaporated, I'm gonna be cheeky and add just a little bit of the tomato juice. Now we let that sit for 25 minutes at a slow but steady simmer until the oil floats free. The oil's floating pretty free now. I feel like I've missed something here. Anyway, I'll see you in 25. Okay, that's been simmering away for 25 minutes now. The oil is still floating free, but no soup to be seen yet. Now we add our mussels. Change the heat to high. Give it a little toss. 
and we cover. Now she doesn't say how long to cook these for, we're just checking on them frequently until all the muscles have opened up. And every now and then we just have to move the muscles from the bottom up to the top. So how frequently is frequently though? We'll give them a toss. Okay, another check. Ooh, most of them are looking open. Oh, there's our soup. I found the soup. Okay, I reckon maybe just one more minute and then we're good. Hey, now we take one last clove of garlic, thickly cut a slice of bread per serve, whack it in the toaster. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. We rub those with our mashed garlic. And we pop them at the bottom of two bowls. And that is our mussel soup. So now we put the mussels on top of the bread. Of course, we want some of that liquid from the bottom, the soup. And it's dinner time. So I know I promised you a soup. Either I've done something wrong or Marcella's telling fibs. It's not very soupy, I will <laughs> say that. It smells really good and I love mussels. I'm excited. Mm, it's good. It does just feel like we're eating seafood in winter, but that is very tasty. Getting every bit of precious soup you can. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Mm. And I was surprised how much liquid actually did come out of those mussels because it looked like this was just going to be tomatoes and oil. But it actually has turned into a nice sauce for it. Still a bit cheeky calling it a soup. Let's try some of that crusty bread on the bottom. Pop a mussel on it. Mmm. That's the winter comfort that I was after. It needs the bread. The bread just makes it. The flavour of the mussels in that sauce on that bread with the garlic bringing that little bit of acid, that's where it's at. I'm mm. loving this. Actually, hey, this doesn't have any salt or pepper in it. This oh, was really? not seasoned at all. Yeah, I didn't actually know that. I guess there would be saltiness in the mussels. Yeah, seasoned by the ocean. It's so good. Got a nice little garlic bite for winter. Once you get down to the middle of the bread where it's really soggy, it is like a soup. It's gloppy. It's gloppy. <laughs> well, I'm only feeling mildly deceived, but Marcella's done it again. Millie, would you like to sign us off? This is some tasty lies. Yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> Thanks for joining us again. <laughs>